Or new tonight, police say a killer dressed as a delivery driver to lure a man into a trap and then shot him. This is a mugshot of the accused killer, Donovan Carter. Police say he shot and killed a man who was dating his ex-girlfriend. The shooting happened Wednesday outside of Harlow Apartments on Windy Hill Road. And Channel 2 Cobb County Bureau Chief Michelle Newell is live at the scene. Michelle, you have new information tonight on the motive behind all of this. Linda, my heart really breaks for this family. They traveled all the way from Chicago to celebrate his 40th birthday. Knew something was wrong when they didn't hear from him. Police say that suspect... Leave Chicago to go to another city and get fucking killed. Dressed up as a delivery driver, shot and killed the victim right outside this apartment complex. And we're told he ran to this quick trip to get away. And we spoke with witnesses who saw the aftermath. Less than 24 hours after a murder outside of this apartment complex, the road towards justice now begins. We are so relieved to be able to share for the family's benefit now that the suspect in this violent shooting yesterday will be held accountable. The people who live inside the same building as Kenneth Cunningham Jr. are now shifting their focus to his grieving family. I pray for them. I pray for their healing. The family traveled all the way from Chicago to celebrate Cunningham's 40th birthday. Now they're planning his funeral. A tragedy police say was brought on by jealousy. The victim was now dating someone that had formerly been involved with the suspect. Cunningham thought he had a package waiting for him at the front desk here at the Harlow apartment complex on Windy Hill Road Wednesday morning. A woman who was working during that time told me there wasn't a package for Cunningham. There was a ruse to get this individual out of their apartment under the lure of there was a package waiting for them. Police say Carter was outside the building dressed as a delivery driver. But there was never a package involved. There was never a delivery involved. But when Cunningham walked outside the building, police say Carter delivered a fatal blow. He violently shot the victim five times. Not long after that, frantic moments at this quick trip behind the crime scene. Somebody started acting crazy over there saying, oh, yeah, he got a gun. News Chopper 2 captured the massive manhunt. Multiple agencies worked with Marietta PD searching businesses using canines, drones, and flock cameras. Once we identified the suspect and were able to track his movements, we were able to come up with the vehicle that he fled in. Carter didn't get too far. Police stopped him in Gwinnett County. It's a sad story. And uh, that suspect now at Cobb County Jail facing a long list of charges. It's not clear how he knew where Cunningham, Cunningham lived, but police say they worked with several different agencies here in Cobb County and Gwinnett. Have you ever been involved in something like that, Brown Sugar, where a dude um a love triangle that almost turned violent no mm. okay well let me take uh umbrage with the reporter for saying delivered a fatal blow after he shot the guy <laughs> what what the heck Five that's times. a shot not a blow a blow implies Swinging something at somebody, <laughs> hitting somebody with something. The only thing I came close to was a um, long time ago, this guy um, threatened to kill his friend because he used his he used his friend phone to call me. Well, his friend called me, and was like, "I don't want." He was like, "Yeah." You know, you cute and you really shouldn't be talking to dude. You should choose oh, me. Oh shit. So wow. I call I told him what he said to me. And then he called me back and I think he had a gun to him because he was like, Please don't kill me, man. Don't kill me. And I was screaming on the other end, like, Stop, you're gonna go to jail. Yeah, yeah. You was a rookie, man, for doing that, man. You was a rookie for doing that. You I didn't know the son man was gonna react like that. I, I didn't know. I was super young. I was like in my I was like 22. I was young, but I didn't know. And he actually ended up going to prison for life for murder. Like <laughs> ten, like eight years later. Oh, so a happy ending. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man, brown sugar, man, the brown sugar files, man. That that sounded about right. That's why I was asking you this, because you most black women 
have been in something like that. Like yeah. most of the black women in my family have been in something like that multiple times. Um, with uh, um, a love triangle, just, just shit went off the rails. My ex found out I was cheating on her, and she threatened to kill herself. So I ended up having to like talk her, talk to her for like two hours, and she ended up like swallowing a shit ton of aspirin. And yeah, that did not go over well with her family. You talked yeah, her off yeah. the edge, huh? No, dude. Didn't I didn't that kill you? She 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 swallowed aspirin? like fifteen pills. No, she's supposed My to make God. you swallow 15 pills. You're supposed to be the one suicidal, not her. What's she doing? Sometimes have, some woman just comes I out. Yeah, I'm suicidal, boo. <laughs> not the other that's, way around. That's, is that a southern accent? But a family grieving in disbelief, mourning the death. A 40-year-old Kenneth Cunningham II. Cunningham was shot and killed on Wednesday, and police say he was targeted outside of his Marriott mm, apartment over a woman who he had been seeing. Within Ooh, the last snatch. hour, the woman's. So, which one would you? The, the, was she? Was she right to leave him? Leave the old boyfriend for the new boyfriend? <laughs> Just the old boyfriend. <laughs> what, what was the question? I'm sorry. This the old boyfriend, and it's the new boyfriend. Yeah, that's an upgrade. <laughs> <A-R-D-O>. <laughs> <laughs> I've been seeing within the last hour, the woman's ex boyfriend, 33 year old Donovan Carter, appeared before a Cobb County magistrate court judge to hear the four felony charges against him, including aggravated assault and malice murder. Carter remains in custody tonight without bond. Late tonight, Cunningham's father and aunt in Alpharetta spoke with our John Shearick. We can't comprehend it. They can't believe he is gone. Kenny Cunningham II shot and killed on Wednesday, his 40th birthday. Cunningham's family from Chicago had gathered in Atlanta to surprise him later that day and celebrate him. Wow, that is so crazy. That is insane. That's tragic. Right. By the way, by the way, Gen Z dropped a video on this earlier today. And uh, he's back monetized again. So uh, help him celebrate. Go watch it. Oh, man, that's good. That's good. He's back. That's good. This is, this is, shout out to Gen Z, man. This is, um, this is tragic. This is, this is, this is like literally like a nightmare. His 40th birthday. Cunningham's family Kenny Cunningham the second shot and killed on Wednesday his 40th birthday Cunningham's family from Chicago had gathered in Atlanta to surprise him later that day and celebrate him and show him their love for him his father Kenneth Cunningham he was very generous giving love kids love his nephew Kenny Cunningham an uber driver for now his aunt Daphne Bell says he lived to entertain, Uber. to make people laugh. Once you met Kenneth, you were going to walk away with a funny story because he was just that guy. He was always making you laugh. Anybody that knows Kenny has a funny he story. He was funny. Him. Of course, of course. He was fun. But you know that mean in the black community, that mean he was just a special person. Hey, I described a, a brother like that. My, me and my actual brother were talking and he mentioned his old friend from his high school dante and he was around and when he brought him up and the first thing i thought was like damn he was a funny guy man i wonder what happened to him and as soon as i said that i instantly was like damn dude i described a homeboy like that yeah that that's that's a um trait that um it's a trait that we i mean people appreciate about us man um yeah you bring joy they mean you brought joy to us when you funny you made us. Happy I also think point. it's a trait you cultivate as as a as a group. Yeah, it's, it's a trait. It's a, it's definitely a trait that is um is it it brings you status in that in that community, and it's appreciated in that community to make people laugh. Um, it's like very comedian. you know, yeah, it's yeah, it's it's a yeah, like like yeah, our, com- our comedians are rock stars. Our comedians are. Oh, yeah. Our comedians can tell you who to vote for. There's no white comedian that can tell white mm-hmm. people to vote for. Look at Ken Williams. Ken Williams, the, yep, Ken Williams. the hottest topic right now. Yeah. No, and kidding. before that, the day before that, it was Dave Chappelle. 
like we the black black comedians are very 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 important in, in black society um we still yeah. mourn and bernie make we still mourn him <laughs> yeah. yeah man um yeah. Hey, this uh, this lady looks like Jackie Brown from the movie. Mm, oh, yeah. Quentin Tarantino, right? Talking about um, Pam Grier. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Marietta police say the man who shot and killed Cunningham is the jealous ex-boyfriend of the woman Cunningham had just started seeing. None of it makes sense to Cunningham's family. I don't believe this is happening. Of the woman that he just started seeing. So this isn't like the girlfriend that the family knows. This is some chick that they don't even fucking know, probably. Damn. Just Imagine like the family. confusion going into that guy's mind. He's probably like, yeah, I'm gonna go pick up a package from this guy and just probably just talking to him. And then all of a sudden he turns around and he's shooting at him. He's probably like, What the fuck is going on? She didn't give right. him a head or something. Uh, her ex is crazy because, like, that's the first thing I tell, like, some here, like, look, <laughs> just wait a minute because I just got a yeah. relationship and he a little crazy. So give me some time. Yeah. Know? No doubt. That's that, a, makes that's you the, uh, top, that makes you in the top 1% of son women. No, I mean, I would say, I would say, uh, I would say, well, about maybe twenty something percent, maybe even me, maybe, maybe even half a son. Here's the thing, though. This is the thing, though. He's also a son man, right? So he probably like you could tell him, yeah, you know, my ex boyfriend crazy. He like, nigga, I'm from the streets too. You know I'm what I'm saying? I'm crazy too. too. Yeah. Nah, so he dressed. Nah, he dressed like a uh, a delivery guy and will ambush you crazy. Oh yeah, that's like that. she probably yeah. said she probably said it to him, and he was like, "Man, I ain't worried about that." <laughs> yeah, like like here, here's the thing though. Here's the thing too. Like some men, the danger, the prospect of danger, we deal with it differently because we're always around some men. So it's like another person might take it a little more serious. But when you're a son, man, you're desensitized to a lot of the threats that aren't immediate. You know what I'm saying? So that threat isn't immediate. It's kind of like an abstract threat. Like, yo, there's some guy out there who's crazy and, you know, he and he's my ex-boyfriend. You're like, well, you know, I'm 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 not I might not be crazy, but I'm a son, man. So like it's whatever. Fuck that nigga, man. You better not say shit to me about this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like you thinking like that. The marijuana helps too, right? I mean, I, marijuana never helped with me, man. It always made me paranoid. It made me um, dwell on things. A glider me, man would have. A glider man probably would have pissed himself. Oh uh, yeah, I thought you said him. that. I thought you said that weed helped your ADD or something like that. No, I mean I I, I medicated that w with ADD, but it had the side effects was it make you reflect on things, make you think about things too much, think about negative things and you know failures and past things all the time. And the, the best thing for me was to stop smoking. So I mean I stopped smoking yeah, two years ago. Man. Yeah, um, it's not for it's not for everybody. Um, but I'm yeah, not this, gonna this, blame this woman though. I'm not gonna blame her because. She can't control another human being. Like, right. cannot control another human being. Yeah, that, that guy's gonna. That guy is acted on his own volition. She didn't set him up. She, she. Here's the thing, though. Like, a lot of times, yo, know, the girl is also desensitized. So she's been dealing with Sunman all her life. And she's been dealing with, with like the crazy son man too, or the thugged out son man all of her life. So, and and so she's desensitized. So she's probably like, man, that nigga crazy, but he ain't gonna do, he ain't gonna do shit. But I mean, you know what I'm saying? He might keep calling or something. He might try to intimidate the guy or something. You know what I'm saying? But he ain't gonna dress up as a delivery driver and fucking tell the guy he got a package when he come get it. That's what I'm saying. Like, that's so extreme. Like, dude is, man, that man is actually crazy. So he must have, he must have stalked that woman and found them two together 
and maybe stalked him, the victim, for a certain amount of time because he knows where he lives. And this guy had no idea what that guy looked like. Right. And and, yeah. and, and he, that makes sense because how he don't know what that guy looked like, who that guy looked like. Yeah, yeah, that's true. And it was a new relationship. Yeah, so he worked fast. Um, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, that's scary. That is terrifying though. Um so make and, sure and, and y'all he, get pictures of all the exes that um <laughs> if you meet somebody new, just say, um, let me see a picture of your ex. This is a this is 